Hello. Oh my God, my fingers look so skinny. That was weird. Unless I do it this way. Okay. I think that's better. Um, hello. Um, hi. I am in my hotel room right now. I, I just got to the hotel, so I'm like, I just went like two hours on a bus, but yeah. <laughs> um, hello. How are you? I hope you're great. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of here. Excuse my hair. I, I was like ugh, on a bus. But, um, hi, Michelle. You're in Barcelona? Ooh, diviértete. Have fun. <laughs> I, lo I love that place. I've always wanted to go. Mm. Hi, Jimena. Hi, Nick. Yeah, I'm really like, I, I love New York, dude. I love New York. How is it? It's good. It's great. Honestly, New York is one of my, ugh, it's like my favorite place. Because, um, like, I grew up in Miami, and then now I currently work in L.A., and I just feel like, it, New York is like, like, right, the in, it's like the in-between of Miami and L.A. Like, it has both, like, the things from, that I like from L.A. and the things that I like from Miami they're here without all the extra stuff you know what I mean so I feel like here it's nice because I have a lot of like there's a, a lot of people that speak Spanish which is so cool like anywhere and that it's it's nice to be surrounded by a culture especially since it's like usually like Cubans Puerto Ricans like you know Caribbean so it's closer to because it's nice whenever I find like Mexicans or like uh Salvadorians or was back in LA but it's just, they still have a very different culture from like mine like cuban and stuff so obviously it's not you know it's not the same and obviously there's no cuban food anywhere in like la basically almost nothing but here is a different story so i don't know i like it here i've spent the majority of my time here with such good people and just speaking in spanglish the entire time which is fun, and then the majority are from Miami and then New York, so it's just, everybody it like was vibing really well. But Miami's still special. I mean, I never said it wasn't. <laughs> I just said like, for in, in Miami I'm more comfortable just because I'm like, my culture is around me and like I grew up there, so. But my, like LA for example is where my job is and like where I wanna like keep thriving, you know? I just wish I could have a little bit more of my culture in LA, that would like, be great <laughs> obsessed with your thank you i i just got them recently i really like them i've been wearing them a lot <laughs> in manhattan i think that, yeah i'm pretty sure i'm in manhattan i yeah <laughs> i don't know i fell asleep uh in the bus so yeah i kind of miss the street signs but and stuff but yeah um Oh, I wasn't able to buy you a birthday gift. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, but it's okay. Like, it's a little, it's fine. Like, I didn't expect, like, honestly, like, you literally don't have to. Um, but yeah, no, I appreciate that you even have the thought. So, I'm so, I want to put my phone down, but like, it's like on 20% or like less. So, I'm like charging it right now. That's why I have to hold it. I wish like the charging thing could be on top so I could just, you know, like, just put my phone like sitting up and then just charge it from the top. I don't know. Um, yeah. Where are you staying? As if I'm going to answer that question on a live. Come on, guys. Like, a lot of Dominicans and Puerto Ricans. Yeah, for sure. Someone's like, did I ask, did I ask, did I ask? I was like, did I ask for you to enter my life? Like, guys. Um, Amanda. Hi, Bay. <laughs> I haven't, oh my God, we haven't talked in a long time. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're thriving. We send you lots of love. Hola, Victor. Saludos. You're so pretty. Thank you. Ani, I'm your Ani. Aww. She's so cute. Savage. I love it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. <laughs> Hello. I also just came off of like a two hour bus ride. 
so I'm a little <laughs> we have to catch up I love you too and yes we do we really do oh my god I haven't gone to Miami in so long I haven't gone to Miami like two three years oh my god you too Taylor come Come by LA soon. I hope I get to pass by. I mean, I hope I get to pass by your city soon. That'd be nice. But I feel like it'd be more likely you passing by LA than me, like, probably going out and, like, I don't know. I wish I could just travel more and go different places more. Can't stay long at work, but looking forward to catching up soon. Yes, we will. We will for sure. I gotta, we gotta keep texting, like, I don't know, go, um, go to a cafe, something. My shirt. This is my shirt. It has a very um, glamorous woman on it. She's wearing Gucci. This is Gucci, I think. I, that's what the woman said. I, I will trust her. <laughs> um, but no, I really like weird graphic shirts, I guess. And she looks very glamorous. So I hope I, uh, yeah. Um, I'll be in LA next week. Yes! Yay! Okay, I think... No, I might be in San Diego next week. It's okay. Hopefully, you'll be staying long enough for me to come back and you're, like, still there. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah. Yo, this hotel room is so cold. I'm not complaining. Like, I like it. But after a while, it's like you're freezing. Like, your bones are just... You know what I mean? <laughs> um... I want to show you guys around, like it just, I have a really, really cool view and I want to show it because it's really nice, but again, I have no battery. So I will wait until like, I'm like, l like at least in 20%. Um, if I find an internship in Cali next year, can we meet up? Of course. I want to know about your internship and I want to give you tips on how to survive LA, if you let me. I think it'll be fun, of course. I'll be your first friend in LA. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, am I in uh, okay? Am I in New York for work? Yes. <laughs> um. Yes, I'm here with uh, something with Neutrogena. Neutrogena. <laughs> um, they actually just came out uh, with a new product, so we were here kind of to test it. So today we went to um, the Neutrogena or the Johnson and Johnson Labs, and we kind of got to see all the actual like scientists working on it, and we got to. Um, I put, I put it on my stories, actually. We got, like, they explained everything to us. We got to test it. We got to see um, how it looks under a black light. Like, it's really, and, like, the effect it has on your skin. Like, it's really, really cool. And it was really nice to go behind the scenes and see all of that and all the science that goes into the product. So, yeah, I wish we could have that experience more often. Hi, Malika. That's my baby. Just, you know, public service announcement. Um, and then we also went to the Johnson & Johnson Museum, which anyone that's visiting Jersey, please go. Like, I know we all think when like, what do you think of Johnson and John? Like, what do you think of when you think of Johnson and Johnson? You think of like baby shampoo, right? Like baby stuff. No, you'd be surprised how long they've been a company, what their owners invented. Like, literally, the people like workers that have worked for them, like uh, their owners, like they just contributed so much to society. Like they literally invented band aids and they went to kind of suggest um, a clean surgery type of deal because back then in like the 1800s, literally people, would, like they would do surgeries and not, not even wash their hands, wear their street clothes, reuse the same tools and not wash them. Like it would be disrespectful to tell them to clean their stuff because it was actually like um kind of like a um, trophy, let's say, like your diploma put on the wall to like have all the dry blood and all the stuff like on you because it's like, it looks like an experienced doctor, I guess. And then I think uh, Johnson, one of the uh, three Johnson brothers, like that founded Johnson and Johnson, he was like, no. <laughs> so it was kind of like suggested a clean environment, to wash hands, and just do all that bunch of stuff. So like, the surgery death rate pretty much lowered so much because of Johnson and Johnson. You learn something new every day. Like Lily, honestly, I haven't posted the videos from the Johnson and Johnson tour yet. But uh, from the museum, but I'm going to post them up later. And I literally, there's just so many interesting things about this company and about their history. So I really, really uh, encourage you to watch it once I post it. Um, but yeah, they literally, and they they have Tylenol. They have, like they, they invented so much good stuff. Like 
like female hygiene uh, products. Like, oh my God, it was crazy. And it was crazy to think that even in the 1900s, they had like women in such high positions and doing things for women, for men, uh, for men, for babies. Like it was crazy. You'd be surprised like how progressive and how much like they went for, uh, how much they promoted diversity like back in the 1900s and 1800s. Like it's crazy. So yeah. I love your necklace. Thank you. I have two on. This one's like has little angels on it. And this one says te amo in Spanish. So, um, yeah. Looking astonishing. Thank you. Wow, that's, that's a word. I'm glad you used it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really, that was really fun. So I'll post that later if you're interested in seeing it. Um started so I'm not surprised yeah but even back then it was really it started but still like it's hard it was hard very 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 hard for women especially in the United States to be in any kind of big position in any company you know what I mean so it's just like um and I think Johnson & Johnson was the first to hire um like the first female scientist for their research like it was crazy I was like really really surprised that all the stuff was, I was like, Johnson & Johnson, like, literally, like, the stuff that's, like, for babies, like, they have so much stuff, and so many companies under their wing, like, it's crazy. Um, it's your birthday soon. I like how you emphasize soon. <laughs> like, in a couple weeks, or, like, I need to know the exact date. Like, I need to put it in my calendar, because my memory sucks. Horrible funny since I'm an actress and I memorize lines for a living <laughs> but um yeah what is oh okay I'm like looking at the little like things at the bottom like all the like hearts and stuff like that and then there was like yeah <laughs> I was confused by all the little symbols that like I think my Instagram update or something okay am I the only one is this true because I keep hearing that apparently Instagram is going to take away likes. I was like, that's interesting. I heard something about comments, too. Um, like, taking that away. And I, I guess the reasoning behind it was that it's just... I I heard it, like, the ethical way, like, for more morals. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, you shouldn't value likes as much as you do. And likes are really causing... Um, stress and anxiety and just the whole so normal social media thing like my cover literally says like talks about anxiety on social media <laughs> but it wasn't true is that what you think is that kind of like entre nos type of deal like they're talking it behind the scenes i just feel like it's a good idea hear me out it has well i feel alan just because you got a latin girl doesn't mean you're fluent now it's hola fea if you're talking to a girl, and that's also if you want to get beat up. So, let me correct your Spanish while you're at it. Don't try to come for me when your Spanish is not correct. See? Alan and Alex can't win with me. But, specifically, Alan. <laughs> I love you. I hope you're doing great. <laughs> but, um, there you go. That's more like it. I mean, it's untrue, but... Um, anyway, I hope you're doing well. Wow, you're so mean. No, 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 I'm not mean. I am honest. I'm being a friend. See, I'm correcting your Spanish so that you know. Because how else are you going to learn if no one gives you corrections? You know? It is a great idea, but it will have a lot of backlash because so many, so many people care about it, sadly. That's what I thought. I thought it was a great idea. But then the thing is, people are going to be like, it's not like you can shock the culture and modern society into thinking, no, oh, now I have to, um, you know, just work without likes and without comments. It's just going to be like that. No, sadly, there are a lot of, comp there's a lot of competition social media wise and different apps that do have the like and comment thing. So I feel like it would just take away Instagram's power per se. So I feel like it just wouldn't be good for business. Sadly, I don't know. I just feel like I just yeah, it was a good idea though. Like the thought of it, I guess was yeah. Michelle's birthday is July third. Okay, perfect. I have it in here. Um, 
Wait, what did you say? They're trying to make everyone equal? Yeah, yeah, that's, I kind of take it as that way. They should take the number of it. That's it. Yeah. At one point, I was like, well, maybe you can take the number out, but you could, I guess, leave the people liked your picture thing. I don't know, but I feel like there, there's people, like, actually desperate enough to go through the notifications and just count them. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just feel like people have become really desperate for likes, and it's their source of everything these days, so... Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it would work out great for them, sadly. It's a horrible business move. Business, it, it would be bad for business. It would be a shock, though. Like, I, it would get people talking about it, but, yeah, I don't know. I guess if they could work, no, never mind. That's numbers, too. <laughs> Imagine they hid the amount of followers people have as well and only show it, showed it to the person themselves. That'd be pretty great, actually. I mean, this person still has the... But it's like... I feel like people would start lying about their phone. I don't know. I just feel like at this point, social media has just become such a big thing that there is no going around it. Like, unless you take all of it out completely, then I want to see how the Instagram models work. <laughs> You're unemployed. Or all the, like... Not the good... Like, not the, not the actual bloggers that actually, you know, really do something for the community... But I'm, you know, I'm talking about like the influencers, like, like the cringy influencers, not the, oh, I am, you know, doing something for society influencers. I am, you know, writing blogs about healthcare and skincare and fashion and news, not those type of influencers. I'm talking about the musically influencers, the, the really like too young to be doing what they're doing influencers. I want to know how they are going to live without social media. You know what I mean? Like, there's just certain people that would be more effective than others. This is all I'm saying. Um, am I feeling well? I am. I'm a little tired. I won't lie. Um, but luckily, uh, I leave tomorrow. So nothing, like, we were going to leave today. But it was just going to be a lot. <laughs> so I, they were really nice about it. And they're just like, no, just rest up, leave tomorrow. And we were like, yay. So, yeah, I go back home tomorrow. Um... My hand already hurts from holding my phone. Ah. If they take out comments and likes, it would be hard to communicate. Not necessarily, because there still is DMs. But you would just have to check your DMs a lot more, I guess. Um, I just feel like DMs would really fill up, wouldn't they? Because it's a lot easier sometimes to just comment. Especially brands, when they're looking to work with talent or... Um, or we, when we try to reach out to brands, um, then, yeah, there's going to be a lot more DMs. Because a lot of times it's just, you know, you leave a comment and then maybe they'll reach out to you. But now it's like, just leave DMs. DMs is a little direct. Direct messaging, literally. Like, you never check. I know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really, honestly, I only check DMs when it's like, I check them when it's like, I know it's work related and I know that I have to answer or when it's a brand reaching out or stuff like that cuz you know I have to I have to work get get my money somewhere pay my rent um <laughs> but and there's a lot of times where I do go through like and I respond to comments that really like kind of call out to me or that like I feel like I just have to respond you know what I mean but other times I just I forget like cuz I'll be like oh okay mental note um, respond to this person later, and then I forget. I just, I, I swear, I have the worst memory ever. Except for lines, luckily. But, yeah. Those songwriter companies are still sitting. Are you serious? Oh my god, wait. On Instagram or on Twitter? It might have gotten lost, so I'm gonna like just look for you directly. I've been trying to talk. I'm so sorry. Instagram now did this thing where they have like the primary and the general. So pretty much everyone I put, like the majority in general, I think like kind of like maybe fans or just maybe like random DMs or like that. And usually on primary are the ones that I really, really have to like answer quickly and remember to answer. Like maybe like a brand reaching out or like a company or like someone I work with. You know what I mean? Or people that I follow, I guess. 
Um, so that I always forget to check both, like primary and general. I have to go back in my general. But yeah. Do I miss Bell and the Bulldogs team? They were such a great production. It was filled with such amazing people. Like, it is one of my, like, I, it's memories that I treasure, like, so much. So, yeah. Definitely, I don't necessarily miss, I, I do miss it sometimes. Yeah, I do miss um, just that era, that, you know, all those years, for sure. But, yeah. Um, I have, like, no idea what to talk about. I just don't have topics today. And I'm like so like out of it. Um, I like how everyone's like speak Spanish, and I was like, for sure. But what the hell do I talk about? Like, if you ask me a question in Spanish, I respond in Spanish. You ask me a question in English, I respond in English. Dime algo bonito en español. No sé. Hey, lo que estoy diciendo. No sé qué. No sé qué decir. Um. Porque obvio, si me dices es como, si me haces si hace una pregunta en español, te respondo en español. Si me haces una pregunta en inglés, te respondo en inglés. Si me haces una pregunta, una pregunta en italiano, intento contestarte en, en italiano, <laughs> para que todo el mundo esté cómodo. But, si me dices speak Spanish, ¿qué digo? <laughs> I love your Spanish, thank you. Lo que me es que como estoy en Nueva York y hay más gente aquí que habla español, se siente, se siente rico. Porque obvio, mi abuela que vino conmigo se siente más cómoda porque ella puede como pedir sus cosas, la comida, like, no tengo que estar haciendo trans, tra, eh, translation todo el tiempo, traduciéndolo todo, pero no, ni que me moleste, oh, lo, hago, lo hago con gusto, pero es más fácil para ella. Um, pero no, lo cómico es que aquí con, to, eh, con todas las personas con quien he estado, todas hablan español. Y inglés, y entonces también todas son, como viven en Miami, son todo el mundo hablando en Spanglish, so, así mismo. Um, speak Arabic, I wish, I really wish. Sometimes I, I feel so bad, because when I, like, Arabic fans, when they write, and it, it's so pretty, it's beautiful, but I, I, like, I can't read it at all. Same with this one, said read this, and I don't necessarily know what language that is. I know it's not, yeah. I can read Korean, that's the, I can read Spanish, and I can read Italian, Portuguese, and English. Italian and Portuguese, not because I'm fluent, but because it's very similar to Spanish. So, me defiendo, but, um, yeah, no, I can't read Arabic, sadly. I can't read Chinese, I can't read Japanese, it's a very sad world. I strive to, I, I want to learn it though. I'm just, I'm going language by language, but obviously like my goal is to learn at least five languages in my lifetime. Yeah. But hey, I think I'll live like a good amount of years. I can do more than that, so we'll try. <laughs> You're so beautiful, thank you. Thank you so much. Ciao, como esta? <laughs> uh, how would you say? Muerto, muerto bene, bene, bene. <laughs> um, you're very beautiful. Thank you. You guys are very sweet. Um, now my shoulder hurts too. Oh my God, wait. I'm in 19%. Good enough. Um, ow, ow. Okay, now that we're here, let's see if this works. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um, like the sun. Oh, the sun went away. See, it knows what I want. Um, in Dutch. Oh my God, you're testing me. Um, I think I know how to say it in German, but I don't think I remember Dutch. I think I totally murdered like the pronunciation last time, and I didn't quite remember it. A tu cabello es hermoso. Gracias. Ahora empecé a hacerme tratamiento como de acondicionador, de conditioner, y lo hago como una vez cada semana, so con el shampoo y todo, después la, la mujer me echa tratamiento de esto de conditioner para que no esté tan seco y no parezca 
Y me parece que la parte de abajo es una escoba. Eh, pero de verdad que, like, it, it's really gotten better. De verdad que se ha mejorado mucho. Lo que me tengo que cortar las puntas. Ir cortándome las puntas porque están muy... tan seca. Es por todo... Toda la, la, la plancha, la, la tenaza, todo. No, eso mata. Me ha matado el cabello. Your voice is deep as well. I know. <laughs> And it's even worse right now because it's like a little, uh, I don't know. It's like a little like raspy, I guess. It's new, usually not this raspy, but yeah, my voice is, I guess. Iku vanju. Is that how you say it? Ikau or iku? I don't know. You, got, you can't just spell it. You got to give me some assistance. Because like, <laughs> I want to pronounce it right. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite 80s song? Out of the new ones or in general? <laughs> your voice ain't deep. Mine is. Yeah, but you're a guy. It's different. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, you look great. Thanks. Question mark. <laughs> I feel like it would be Ikau. Ikau van. I don't know. Because I feel like I said Iku and that was incorrect. ¿Crees que algún día lo hará? Saludos desde España, saludos. No, honestamente no tengo idea si algún día pasará. Ojalá, me encantaría conocerlo, obvio. Pero mira, si no pasa, no pasa, pero... You said it right. I did? But wait, the first time I said it or the second time? Iku? Iku van yo? Of course, I said that with a total accent, but... Okay, listen, this is what I'm going to do. You corrected your... Ikao? Am I going in the right direction? Ikao van... No. Oh, shit. Because the problem is, the comments come late. In the sense that if I say something now, the comments um, come up, like, way later. So that's why sometimes it's like it gets confusing, because, like, yeah... Ikao, Ikao van yo. Wow. Lauren ya le hablando español. Sí, porque ella, ella creció en Miami, ¿no? So ella debe tener el acento mayamero. <laughs> y es cubana también, ¿no? O de familia cubana. Algo así. No sé. En realidad nunca la he escuchado hablar español. Ikao van yo. Van. Ikao van yo. Listen, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go find videos of people speaking Dutch. And I'm just gonna copy their accent. And next time we do a live, I'm gonna be ready. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to say hi. I love you. Like, just the pronoun. And bye. Possibly how to say my name. Let's try that. I'll give myself that. Come back to Miami. I know. I miss it. I really do. Every. I mean, I don't like to stay for too long. But, <laughs> you're Dutch. Oh, my, is it bad? Uh, Please tell me, please tell me the accent's at least passing off as cute and not totally dorky. Um, but yes, I'm going to practice my Dutch, I promise. Um, but yeah, no, I was saying Miami, I'd like to go back. Maybe for like maximum a month, I think. Yeah, I think after a month, I think, I think I'm good with a month. Um, I want to hear you say something in German. What can I say? Mm. I know hi is guten tag I think you said that last time as well no I didn't I didn't say that I was gonna go all out and watch videos I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna do it this time I'll probably do it like nine is that like no I think that is no um so many clouds, like it's going like in and out. Um, wait, okay, here we go. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something. You're amazing at your. I am? Stop, really? Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> Don't tell me that because I'll get confident. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, somebody asked me about ATs, my favorite song from them. I really like Stay. I really like stay. I really like treasure. My, my German's not that bad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But you're pretty good, I swear. It's an amazing accent. Oh, thank you. 
I didn't want to learn it, but I was going to learn it after, um, I wanted to focus on Korean first because I really wanted a challenge. Actually, I was going to do Mandarin Chinese first because I heard that was even more challenging. Um, but it was a little too challenging and the fact that I don't have many friends to practice with or like people in general at all. So I feel like it would be like I would be learning a lot of the vo vocabulary, but I wouldn't be able to practice it anyway. So I was like, well, let me do one that is, you know, what is it? Complicated and that I don't have the base of but also still have people around me that can help me so I can speak it. So that's what I'm doing right now. But after that, I wanted to do like Dutch or, or Russian. My mom used to speak a little bit because they used to teach it in Cuba when, I guess when they were still with the Soviet Union. But <laughs> after a while they stopped and she didn't take, like she took it I think a little bit in high school, but like she didn't take it. Any, she didn't speak it years after that anywhere or practice, so she didn't really like learn it. She just can do the numbers. That's what she remembers. And thank you and hi. I think that's what she remembers. But yeah, I wanted to do all the like complicated languages. I just want to learn like as many languages as I can because I just think it's yeah, it's culture. It's amazing to talk to people in different languages, and it's such a it's such great survival skills, especially if you like to travel a lot. Um, que si he ido a México, sí, yo creo que he ido como dos o tres veces. ¿Tres veces? ¿Tres? Creo que tres. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Porque hay mucho que ver en México. México es gigantesco, así que hay que tomar una o dos veces mínimo, sí. So, yeah. No, de verdad que... What about Hindi? I've, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't want to. I didn't want to, and I was like, who could I practice with? I could, that's the thing, because I barely have anyone to practice with here. So French, I'm definitely learning. Um, and especially, I was definitely gonna learn French and Italian, but since I already can understand a bit of it, and I have, like, Spanish almost serves a little bit like a base to um, speak it, even Portuguese too, then I feel like, um, that one I left it a little bit on the back burner just because it might have been a little easier. What about Swahili? Fun fact, if you watch Night Squad, then you know who plays my best friend, Buttercup? Her name's Savannah in real life. Savannah can sing an entire song in Swahili. Yeah, it's crazy. Because she, um, she was in a Lion King music, vi uh, music video. I'm stupid. Um, musical, and they had to learn the entire song in Swahili. And they were gonna, they were doing it, but I think they were learning it kind of like with an accent or like American accent. But then someone came and was like, no, this has to be perfect. You have to get it perfect. So they like perfected it with someone that like is fluent, speaks Swahili and like every now and then she just busts out singing Swahili. And I'm just like, that's so like, free. sorry. That was my phone telling me that my phone's on 10%. Um, it's fine. I have my charger right there. So we'll probably be moving back to the table. Um, but yeah. It'd be just really cool if I could learn like every language. That would be amazing. The accent is key in language. The accent, the tone you say everything in. Yeah, definitely. So that's, um, that's why it's uh, better when you have people to practice with. So you can hear the accent. You can hear how to say things. You know what I mean? So... Because a lot of times when they teach English, it's like, oh, it's spelled that way, but it's actually said this way. Or like, yeah, you can, like, that's technically correct, but nobody says it. Same with Spanish, same with Korean, same with Italian, same with everything. You know what I mean? I say y'all too much, do you? <laughs> ¿Conoces Colombia? No, nunca he ido. Yo quiero ir. ¿Ustedes tienen, cómo se llama, eh, patacón pisado? Es algo que tienen, ¿no? <laughs> Porque hay mucha comida colombiana y mucha gente colombiana en Miami, so por eso tengo muchos amigos colombianos, pero nunca he podido ir. Ah, oh, yo quiero ir. Y conocerlo, mínimo. What's your BTS bias and favorite BTS song? That's hard. Wow. Um, well, my bias is Jimin. That's, we're good. But, like, a favorite song? Ouch. Um... Maybe like favorite song from like each album. Like I could stretch it to there, but. <laughs> um, someone said I should learn an African language. That would be amazing. I can teach you Swahili, it's interesting. Please do, that'd be so dope. 
Imagine me just going somewhere and like just this random group, the one group that speaks Swahili, maybe in Los Angeles. I don't know where I would even find that. But then all of a sudden I can join in and just say hi. They would be like, what the fuck? Like, wow. Like, where? how did you learn how to, you know? It's just cool when like you don't expect someone to speak your language or like a language in general. And you're just like, whoa, like it's cool. Especially when like for me, Spanish, when it's like, like someone, like a gringo or like someone American or like British or wherever. And they're just like, all of a sudden they're speaking Spanish to me or my grandma. Like, that's so cool. Like, literally, don't be afraid to speak Spanish to us. We'll hype you up. Like, real. But, yeah. Just letting you know. I can teach you German or French. Guys! This is amazing. I'm literally going to speak every single language. <laughs> I wish. Um, okay. Do I like Blackpink? I was really, really into them when they first had their debut. I thought they were super strong. I thought they were really good. Um, but I think after, um, what is it? As if it's your last, the songs haven't really been it for me. Don't know what to do without you though. That was a banger. That's a banger. Uh, banger. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to say that in the most cringy way possible. If you didn't notice. Um, Alguien me preguntó que si nací en Cuba. No, no nací en Cuba, nací en Venezuela, pero mi familia entera es de Cuba. Porque mi familia se mudó a Venezuela por un tiempo y estuvieron ahí varios años por su compañía y todo. Um, so por eso nací ahí. Pero, yeah. Thanks for the assistance last night, Thailand. Guys, listen. I'm in New York, right? All my friends are back in LA. And all of a sudden, one of my really good friends, Jaheem, calls me at like 10, 11, no, 11, 10 or 11 here for me, which is like nine or eight in LA. Jaheem calls me, he says, listen, this is today before midnight is my deadline that I need to submit every single assignment that I haven't done yet. And I have Omar, Emmy, Thailand, all in their computers doing uh, like school with me and I'm like, what like what and he's like I and he was like and I need some help because my dumb ass doesn't speak Spanish and I was like oh my god no so I literally with them did like five tests like Spanish tests and I was like that's wrong that's incorrect that's this that's that just rushing to like submit it but in the end we did it um, even my mom and my sister uh, I have to eat bye bye Michelle Buen provecho, buen apetit, all of that. Um, enjoy your food. Um, but yeah, no, we did it. It was great. Like, you could just hear Amar and Emmy writing freaking a thesis statement, <laughs> an essay about healthcare, freaking Thailand and me doing the quizzes. You did like five quizzes and a whole midterm exam. <laughs> I can't. It was, it was really easy, though. The funny thing is, I get so frustrated with um, the way they teach Spanish in the United States because it's wrong. It's so wrong. Like, um, I'm seeing like they give phrases like blah blah blah, like something like a phrase, a small phrase, and then you have to say, oh, is it correct or incorrect? And I'm just like, what? Well, I guess it's correct, but you're just like, no one says that. Like, why would you teach that? So yeah, and um. To those Spanish speakers, let me, I'll tell them this too. Que para hacer la historia que acabé de hacer, por un amigo hice un chiste. Anoche, recuerden que estoy en Nueva York. So estoy en, un, eh, vamos a decir, en una hora diferente. Y entonces, mis amigos están en Los Ángeles. So mis amigos allá eran como las 8 de la noche. Esto es anoche. Me llaman como las 8 de la noche, que aquí ya es como 8, 9, 10, 11. Como las 11 de la noche. Estaba despierta igual, no, no, todavía no estaba por, por el cambio de tiempo. Me llama, mi mejor amigo Jaheim me dice, estoy atrasadísimo en la escuela, hoy es mi último día, tengo que someterlo todo hoy, tengo que enviar todo lo, todas las tareas las tengo que mandar hoy. Y yo, antes de las 12 de la noche, y allá son como las, las 8, las 9. Yo dije, Dios mío. Viene él y entonces tiene a a un amigo Amar, a la otra amiga Emi, a la otra amigo Thailand, todos haciendo como, una haciendo un, una, escrit, una escritura, el otro haciendo como eh, su papel de, fi, de financia, 
el otro haciendo eh, algo de salud. Y entonces él dice, mira, necesito que me ayudes porque aquí nadie habla ni, ni, ni una gota de español. Así que yo le hice como cinco exámenes. Cinco, seis exámenes de español para tratar de mandarlo todo antes de las 12. Y era la cosa más cómica, porque es que lo que más me fastidia a mí es que como la manera en que enseñan español en los Estados Unidos es incorrecto, extremadamente malo, súper malo. Como, por ejemplo, a veces tú has escuchado esto en tu vida. Ah, no sé si has hablado con alguien que habla inglés, o solo habla inglés, o es americano, y le preguntas cómo estás. Y ellos te responden con la frase así, así. Para nosotros eso, eso es una barbaridad. O sea, eso no existe. Como no entiendo qué es lo que es así, así. Y, pero para ellos aquí enseñan eso. Como tú sabes cuando en inglés alguien dice so, so. Literalmente como si el que inventó la clase de español aquí fue a Google y puso so, so. Y obvio so para nosotros es cuando uno dice así que bla, bla, bla. So, le, le tira, le, le, o sea, le enseña ese tipo de burra que uno dice, por señor, por favor, like, esto no es, esto no es correcto. Y entonces, además de que lo, muchas veces lo, los maestros no hablan español. Así, así, what? Yeah. Thanks to last night, I understand every word. I feel like you're a master now. Like, for real. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait. Porque tengo baja batería. I have really low battery. Let me go back to my table. Wait. Okay, I'm back. Um, but yeah. So I'm. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm basically the same story that I just told you about my friends and the quizzes and everything. I'm just translating it in Spanish because I feel like they get a kick out of this. Um, pero sí. Entonces no es que enseñan unas cosas aquí. No 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 no. Pues yo también tuve que hacer clases de español cuando yo estaba en la escuela. Yo lo hice porque yo decía, estas son clases, o sea, que están enseñando, hola, cómo está. Eso yo lo puedo hacer en dos patas. Agarro el crédito, eh, me dan una, y entonces ya tengo lo, lo, vamos a decir, la, las asignaturas eh, de lenguaje. Y ya tengo ese crédito. Y yo digo, bueno, eso va a ser súper fácil. Voy a hacer la clase de español. Y lo hago súper rápido. Bueno, cuando hago la clase de español... Es, es, es cómico porque te, es tu propio lenguaje y te están enseñando hola, ¿cómo está? No, 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 todo ese tipo de cosas. Pero hay una, hay una burra, una, unas cosas, caballero, que uno dice como, por eso la gente no, no habla bien el, el español aquí, o por eso los americanos o, o mucha gente que vive aquí no, no, no piensan que pueden aprender su segundo lenguaje porque es que lo enseñan mal. Igual que en francés, lo, debe ser lo mismo. O cualquier lenguaje que estén enseñando en la escuela. Si uno quiere aprender un lenguaje aquí, lo tiene que hacer en una escuela propia de lenguaje con maestros, con hacer algún tipo de programa de immersion, I don't know. Pero en la escuela, olvídalo. <risa> like, enseñan unas cosas que para qué. Como unas frases que uno nunca diría, ¿me entiendes? Como, no sé. Alguien dijo, colgué, a, a una frase como que veía anoche era, colgué arriba el teléfono. Y dije, ¿qué ¿Cómo que colgaste arriba el te No entiendo. Oh, oh my God. Acá, Dios mío, qué bobazo es. Acabo de caer en cuenta. En inglés se dice hang up. Como colgar el teléfono. Entonces ellos están diciendo colgar arriba. Como like hang up. Oye, ¿verdad que usan el Google? El translate de Google está pésimo. Y lo usan para las clases. Ay, Dios. Y después, y después los pobres americanos dicen que no pueden aprender español. Claro, si no te lo enseñan bien. Dios mío, pobrecito. Qué bueno. <risa> ¡Ay, qué horror! No. Bro, stop. Let me stop. Let me teach you South African. Oh, my God. That'd be so cool. Imagine me just popping up to South Africa and just, like, knowing my way around and talking to the people. Like, yo, like. <risa> I'm too hype right now. I feel like the two Coca the two coffees and the Coca Cola that I had, yeah, that's showing up now. Um, creo que ahí usan Google Translate para dar las clases. No, 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 sí, es verdad. Eso sí es verdad. Porque tal vez, por ejemplo, en, en California, 
en Miami, obvio, en Nueva York, Chicago, tal vez. Las ciudades grandes, como hay tantos inmigran inmigrantes, ¿eh? ahí pueden ver, como, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, maestros de español, o sea, hispanohablante. Así se dice, ¿no? Bueno, espérate, que me distrae. Enjoy New York or get chopped cheese at a bodega. I gotta make sure Jim isn't dead. I will. Now that you now that you recommended it, I will. All right. Let tell Jamie I love him. Um, and I hope he's alive. Um, ¿Qué estaba diciendo yo? Ajá. En las ciudades grandes como esas que hay muchos latinos y mucha gente de diferentes lugares, ahí sí puede haber eh, maestros que hablan español de verdad. Pero vamos a decir que estás en Illinois, Ar Arkansas, Kansas, whatever, en el medio de, de los Estados Unidos, like super. You know, ahí yo he visto como videos de clases en español y es una y es una persona gringa, una persona americana que no habla español enseñando español y yo como ah oh, la wow, no puede ser pero pero sí pues, no, no entiendo o sea para qué si en fin I don't know si todo tu vida te vas a quedar en Kansas ahí no hay nadie que habla español hello that's in life yeah. qué comiste eh, también. Sa ah, claro, siempre. <risa> eh, ¿Qué pasta tenían? Porque vi que tenían pasta. Tienen varias. Tienen la de anoche y dos o tres más. ¿Tienen la de anoche? Ah, sí. perfecto, eso mismo lo voy a comer. Um, that's my grandma. Um, but yes. Um, now I don't know what to talk about because I already finished my rant. Um, Siempre dice que tu padre se llama cuál es el de Stray Kids. El de Stray Kids es Félix. Me encanta Félix. Hey, that's my baby. Um, y tal vez... Ay, ¿cómo se llama el otro? ¿Cómo se llama el otro lindo? Se me olvidó. Me encanta Chan. O sea, tengo varios favoritos en Stray Kids. So I don't know. Pero el número uno yo creo que es Félix. Your grandma's the cutest. Of Thank you. Dicen que eres muy cute. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> um, in the South, they don't know how to speak Spanish. Of course they don't. I don't blame them, but it's just like if you teach, I don't know. They sound from the so mine's microcosmos. Microcosmos is good. I really like home because my Spanish heart, they say mi casa, of course. Um, and make it right. I really like make it right. I think it's a bop. It's a bop. Eres todo lo diferente. Qué, qué bueno. <ríe> qué bueno que no soy mala. Um, Tiene linda voz. Saludos desde Bolivia. Saludos. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Um, tu mamá. No, es mi abuela. <ríe> um, ¿Cuál es tu cantante favorito? Oh, eso está difícil. I don't know. Me gusta mucho BTS. Pero también me gusta, o sea, hay muchos que me gustan, depende. Hay unos que me gusta como música, me gusta mucho Rosalía. A mí me gusta Chayanne. ¿Te gusta Chayanne? <laughs> también me gusta Chayanne. Um, your grandmother looks beautiful, just like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Are you from that show on Nickelodeon? Yes. Probably. I was on two, so either or. Um... Saludos desde Ecuador, saludos. Ay, me duele la espalda. Amo mucho como tu acento cubano. <ríe> Gracias. Um, Jalen wants to kill. No, he just wants you to stop bothering him. Like, you're being really weird. Like, you have four accounts trying to stalk him. Stop. <ríe> Um, saludos, Meli Lima, te amo, te quiero mucho. Hello. Saludos de República Dominicana, saludos. ¿Qué hora es allá? Bueno, debe ser más o menos lo mismo de aquí. ¿Eres cubano o mexicano? Cubana. No tengo familia mexicana ninguna. Que hay uno, hay uno que decía M con una certeza, como si yo, ella tiene me, me, eh, como de México en su familia. Y dije, I'm sorry. Me gusta mucho México, salúdame. Pero no, tampoco. Toda mi, toda mi familia es de Cuba. Y si vas más allá, entonces de España. 
Pero, y nací en Venezuela. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. <ríe> like. Um, you look so nice. Thank you. ¿Qué hora es aquí? Bueno, aquí en Nueva York. ¿Qué hora es? 4 y 41. PM. Um, yes. Tus ojos son hermosos. Gracias, muchas gracias. Um, ¿Cuál pomo de agua? ¿El okay. tuyo? Sí. Yo, ah, mira. No, mira la Um, I have not watched Aladdin yet, now that you mention it. I keep forgetting. I have to go see it with some friends. I think I promised a friend I would see it with her. So, but I've heard it's really good, though. And I've heard the songs, and they're phenomenal. So, yeah. Uh, do you know Hindi? I don't. I wish I did. That'd be really cool if I did. That'd be really cool to speak it. Maybe one day. I don't mind. I would like to learn it. Um, hello. It's really cold now, bro. Oh, my God. Um, eh? Un poquito, sí. ¿Se puede bajar? ¿Dónde está? Ahí. Um. Hello. Ah, oh, por eso. Se puede poner en 70. We're like trying to fix the air conditioning. Because <laughs> it's just really cool. Ellis Stats. I never know how to pronounce it, but hi, my baby. Hello. Eh? 73. Okay. Está bien. Ya después de la noche lo podemos poner frío otra vez. Sí. No sé por qué tanto frío porque está dando sol aquí. Bueno, como es un cuarto tan chiquito. Porque tú tenías abierto, o sea, abierto. Sí, esto ya lo tengo abierto. Sí, pero... Esa parte de la cama nada más es lo que debe estar caliente. I have returned. Hello, Con. How are you? Welcome back. La mía, es lisa. la mía también es lisa. A mí también me gusta la lisa. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm good, and you? What's new? What's happening? What's popping? What's really good? Tengo que revisar, pero no, no creo que todavía. Puedo que la mamá estaba ocupada trabajando ya. I have to fix my hair. I don't. I don't. It's okay. I don't care. I was gonna say it's okay. And I don't care. And I guess I said at the same time, it's okay. I need to go to bed. I'm jet lagged. <laughs> But I was like, um, I'm gonna be on a plane anyways. I don't. I don't. I shouldn't even bother of like fixing my hair anyway. I don't know. I prefer Central Americans over Caribbeans. Okay, good for you. <laughs> um, I'm going to hablar español. Um. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> um, I'm just like looking at all the emojis. <laughs> What day is it today, bro? Um, I have like June 14th. Okay. This is this is really weird. This looks like a phone. Like, have you ever seen a, like a hotel give phones? Like, not give you a phone, but like. Yeah, like to take, like, travel smarter with exclusive rewards and benefits. What is this? Take me out. I'm your free travel buddy. Never worry about roaming charges or getting lost. The handy smartphone is free to use during your stay. I'm sure you have to pay something before that. Like, they can't just give you a phone. Can they? That just seems too good to be true. Get me this. Get the que mira hay que decir ahí ese nombre eso que dice ahí qué cosa en dice esto acá 
Ahí, end. Esto. Eso es cuando lo vas a apagar. Cuando ya termines, pones end. Oh, ¿y ya terminaste? <risa> ¿Tú no ves que estoy, todavía estoy hablando? <risa> ah, cuando eso lo mandas. Eso, eso, ya, yeah, eso siempre está ahí cuando, cuando vas, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, uh, um, How long am I going to be in New York? Just the rest of today. Yeah, I leave tomorrow, unfortunately. I wish I could stay more time. I like New York. I really like being here. But yeah, no. I was seriously freaking out about that phone that I was telling you, though. Because it's weird. Just the fact that it's... Sta look, listen. Look. Look at it. It's weird. It's really weird. Like, it's just there. You know what I mean? It's standing up there, so it's like... Yesterday, I turned it the other way. I was like, it might have, like, I covered it. Like, I was like, I don't know if that has, like, a secret camera or something. No. Like, well, actually, I don't think, I don't even think it has a camera. Does it? Because they wouldn't just give a free phone for people to take selfies in when they reuse it again. I don't even know. I've never seen that in my life. I just don't know. Um... Um, yeah, being paranoid. Always. It's what saves you, though. It's being preventive. Preventative. Preventive. Hay que prevenir. That's basically what you gotta do. <laughs> There's some words that just, I articulate better in Spanish. Um, this is why we do Spanglish. Um, what's wrong with it? Like, nothing's wrong with it. It's just iffy. You know what I mean? Like, just, I've never seen that. Like, this... It's just this random smartphone that you could just take with you. Like that, how convenient is that? And is this for free? Like, obviously I feel like you use it and then just take it right back. And obviously there's no apps or anything in it. It just looks like, you know, as the, I'm sure it's like for tourists or something like to check, you know, what places you can go to, maybe like a GPS. But I just feel like it's not for free. You gotta pay something something like there's gotta be money involved I don't believe that you can just I mean I get it you paid for your stay um and then maybe that comes with it I don't know I don't trust I don't trust hotels <laughs> you have many rings I like wearing a lot of rings yeah I need to get new ones these these are so trash like I went to the place and like they were they were gold and they were honestly a little bit on the expensive side, so I thought I was like, oh, it's like real gold, I guess, but no. It literally, now it looks silver. And I'm just like, really? Now I just want it to look completely silver, so I can just pull it off as silver and like, I don't know, feel good about like the $20 I spent on it or something, I don't know. Um. Oh, okay. I have a minute remaining. So that means I gotta go. Um, I'll be posting pictures, and again, I will be posting stories from the museum, like I said earlier. If you, I think there was some really, really interesting stuff that I'd like to share. So definitely, like, see that and listen to the woman in the background, just so you can get a little taste of everything, everything that we learned in the museum tour. Um, and then, yes, I will try. I will try to do a live in this year. Another one in this year. I'm going to stop promising soon. I'm just going to say, like, in this year, I promise you there will be another live at some point this year. Yeah. Um, yeah. Me falta un minuto. So, yeah. Instagram me está diciendo, yeah, hablaste demasiado. Bye. <laughs> so, um, como dije, voy a, voy a postear más fotos de New York. O sea, de Nueva York. Y voy a postear ese... Yo le hice cuento de que estuve en el museo ese de Johnson Johnson. So, todos los videos, todas las fotos que tomen, eh, de ahí está, el lugar está súper interesante y tiene, tiene una historia muy linda, así que lo voy a postear si lo quieren ver, eh, la mujer está hablando, so, de seguro la pueden escuchar y captar un poco de historia, um, pero sí, voy a postear más fotos, voy a postear eso en las historias, y gracias por ver mi live, les prometo que algún tiempo durante este año haré otro, um, pero ya. Yeah. I am very appreciative of you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for listening to me rant. Um, ¿Te gusta BTS? Sí. Um, it just, she kept popping up, so I was like, let me answer. Um, pero sí. Okay. Lo quiero. I really like you guys. You guys are dope. <laughs>
Bye bye. <laughs> now I'm gonna the end button that my grandma was talking about. Now I'm gonna use it. Bye.